A family in Pacific is mourning the loss of two cherished family pets tonight, but police say they were trying to protect the community when they shot and killed two pit bulls not far from a school playground. News Force Mark Cox reports from Pacific where a dispute is brewing about the chaotic moments before that shooting. Well, imagine the scene. Police say when they pulled up in front of Truman Elementary, there were two large 80 pound pit bulls running back and forth, acting aggressively. Police ended up killing those dogs, something their owner says was completely unnecessary. It was my family pet, four girls. They all, everybody's attached to them. Lots of kids coming over, playing with them all the time. Really good dogs. Mark Vandegrift is convinced his two dogs, Capone and Gotti, were just overgrown puppies. He's also convinced police killed them after they escaped from his backyard because of their breed. Instead of doing things the right way, you just put them, they just put them down. There's, there's a misperception, and I guess there's no way to ever get around that. This is where the chase, if you want to call it, started. Chief Matt Mansell says officers found those dogs close to this playground, chased them to a maintenance area, then defended themselves. They went after both police officers on the scene, um, the building inspector and the animal control officer. The chief says tranquilizers seem to have no effect on Capone or Gotti. They were very aggressive. Unfortunately, we, we had to do what we did. They've never bit anybody or nothing, though. There was no bitings that day or anything. So, you know, to justify a, a dog, two dogs' killings is uh, a far stretch for no violence. Vandegrift has contacted several animal rights organizations and says he may file suit against the city. In Pacific, Mark Cox, News 4. So, you've heard both sides. We'd like to know what you think. Should police have euthanized the pit bulls? You can vote on our website. That's KMOV.com.